Welcome back to the S2S Communication YouTube channel. If you have never been here before, check out the description below. Hit that thumbs up and maybe subscribe. You find this entertaining, a little educational. Today, we are going to calculate the number of hosts you can find if you know the subnet mask. Hit it! Just like I said, if you know the subnet mask, we will teach you how to calculate the usable, well, the total hosts and the usable host on that subnet mask. In this example, we are gonna use a slash 24 as our example. So 24 is the subnet mask in shorthand. If we go back to our high school days, well, at least my high school, technical high school, good old resistor color code and like stuff like that, that would be 24 ones. Followed by, ooh, my lighting is so bad. Counts payable, I'm gonna be calling you soon. 24 ones followed by eight zeros. Totaling 32 bits. So these last eight bits over here are what we use for our hosts. When I say host for you newbies, it's no big deal. Don't worry about being a newbie. My son's a newbie, a Fortnite newbie. The host can be anything. It can be a computer, a printer, an IP camera. Anything you're trying to connect to could be the host down here in that last eight digits. So we're trying to calculate how many devices can we have on this network? That's the whole reason we need to know this number. So we actually use a really simple formula to do this. No, not, now what am I doing? Not that one. H equals 2X minus two, H standing for host, number of hosts. H is going to stand for host IDs. And in this case, it's actually gonna be usable, usable host IDs and the X this number we talked about over here, eight zeros. So in this example, X is eight. We're gonna get rid of some of this stuff here. Clean it up a little bit, right? We'll put eight here, right? And then we'll start doing our fancy math. So that simple calculation, two to the eighth power, you get 256 host IDs on this network. But why are we gonna minus two? We have to minus two out to get 254 usable, let's call it usable host IDs. So you might be wondering why we subtracted two. So let's go over here for a minute. Two reasons. We need a network ID, kind of like every house has an address. You need to know what address these hosts need to talk to, right? So my kids all live in this house. They need to know these are our kids, this is our network. So a network ID, every network has one. And then the second one, is called a broadcast ID. That's the ID that the network sends out to say, hey kids, come back to my network over here. Don't go to Joe's house or Jane's house or Karen's house, come to daddy's house. So once you have your host ID and your network ID, any address in between those two is used on that subnet. You could actually use that information to subnet a subnet, but we're not gonna get into that in this video. To be honest, you could also just type in Google or use the link I put in the description below to calculate a subnet mask. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up, maybe subscribe. We've got some really entertaining videos coming soon. Have a good one. Accounts payable. I think I need a new light. My Home Depot light's not working out so well.